Hi everyone, I'm Richard. Hey, it's Tom. Yep, and we're here today to discuss a topic which a lot of people have been asking questions about, which is specifically, how do we discern the native rendering resolution of any given video game? You know, obviously some games render at native 1080p, others at 900p, 720p, a whole manner of arbitrary values. The question is, how do we figure out that native rendering resolution? And uh, we have an expert on the subject here, Mr. Tom Morgan, who's gonna guide us through the whole process. First step is just to get a really good capture. And um, we tend to go for lossless captures using our capture tools here. But conveniently, these days, anyone can grab a screenshot directly through the PS4 or Xbox One itself. They take screenshots in a PNG format, which is high enough quality for you to actually use for your own analysis. So on PS4, you hold the share button for a second and then hit triangle to save. You can then grab this from the console with the USB stick and take it to your PC. And on Xbox One, it's a similar setup. You take a screenshot with two taps of the Xbox home button. This then pulls up a snap menu and you press Y to confirm. These are each saved to the console and if you found an edge you like you can do your own pixel count from there. Yeah so basically all you're looking for is a long even line, perfect line at a slight slant so you can see the stair steps across and once you have that going horizontally and another one vertically you can work out the resolution on both axes. So basically what it is is the console is outputting 1080p uh, as its final rendering resolution and uh, it's basically counting the pixels that are actually being rendered by the console mm -hmm. and then comparing them with the actual final output, which is typically 1080p. But to do that, you kind of need to have long edges uh, in both vertical and horizontal directions. You see there, there's a good edge and you can see the stair steps really easily. So the horizontal is used to work out the, the vertical, the vertical yeah. and vice versa. All right, there they are. So this is the that. horizontal, which you'll be using to ascertain the vertical resolution. Right? Yeah, that's right. So once we have this, we pretty much have to go to our incredible... <laughs> yeah, it's kind yeah. of like this cutting edge um, uh, program. You've probably never heard of it. It's, it's called, Paint. It's called Microsoft Paint. <laughs> you can, no, you can, you can use uh, Adobe Photoshop, but there's really no need. You can use anything as so long as you can measure a line uh, pixel level. So basically you're looking for the cleanest starting point. Um, on that one you can see there's not too much blurring above the stair step. You're looking for a good starting point and then you draw upwards. Now you'll see part of the reason I use paint is because in the corner here you can see the number of pixels that you're drawing. Uh, so you're working out here the vertical resolution. This is a 1080p image Obviously, we've got a big line here. We're not gonna count every stair step. We just use a sample and then mathematically work out from that sample the proportion of edges to pixels. This little thing here, we got a 30 pixel sample. It's the ruler. And from there, you go across and you kind of just take to the top just one pixel above your ruler. So the edge there is above there. And then you basically drag it across until it meets and you can see down there it is one pixel so it lands perfectly on this edge here it goes up stair step and it just tucks in over so from there it is a simple matter counting the stair steps. counting the stair step so you've got 30 pixels up and from there we can just see what we've okay. got so that is 20 uh, which is exactly what we're looking for uh, if we're looking for a native 720 image. So from there, we just need to get out our cutting edge tool for working out the sum, which is just the calculator app. From there, all you need to do is take the number of edges and divide it by the pixels in the sample you used. So that should be 20 divided by 30 and then times by the resolution that you're trying to find out. So we're going for the vertical, and there you have it. You've got uh, 720 running natively there. So yeah, let's take a look at the horizontal and see how that works. Right, so. So now your ruler is gonna be horizontal. Yes, so we're going for, find that, find the cleanest starting edge you can. It really helps. Um, I guess that will do. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, 30, and then this is tough because we've got to scroll up quite a ways. And then we land on the edge we want. Okay, just over the lip. And once again, one, two, three, four, five. 
So that's 20 total again, which if we do the calculation again, it'll give us 1280. Yeah. So you divide it by 3 times 1920. Yep. So on your upscaling image, you were using 30 pixels for your ruler. Now, is that all? I mean, basically, isn't it? wouldn't it be the case that the longer your ruler, the more accurate it's likely to be on something, let's say you're doing uh, Titanfall 792p, which was a bit of a nightmare back in the day. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so we generally have 30 pixels as a sample for this generation because we're anticipating 900p or 720p. If it's 900p, it'll be 25 edges we're getting back. Mm -hmm. If it's 720p, 20 edges. It's as straightforward as that. But for more obscure uh, resolutions, we notice when we get to the point of counting the pixels, it's, it doesn't quite match up. There's like a half edge or something just doesn't quite fit in. So we just have to go for a bigger sample, say 60, 70 sometimes, and experiment, see what fits within that ruler. So let's say we use 21. We move across and when we land on the other side, the actual pixel that we're landing on isn't a perfect edge. It's looking for, in an ideal world, mathematically, it'll land much better on a 30 pixel sample. Uh, this is partly because if you can imagine um, the 1080p image as a mesh with all the pixels, and then the native 900p image behind it is another mesh. There are points where the uh, edges intersect best with the output uh, resolution. So the sharpness kind of goes in and out as you move across the line. And this is inevitably gonna lead us to a nice 30 pixel sample if we use this image. So that'll be 30 again. So yeah, 900p, we've got the result we're looking for, 25 edges from 30. Okay. And so that's, that is that. So it's 25 divided by 30. And then you times that by, we're on 1080p again. Yeah. So 900. That's 900. Okay, so that's how we measure native rendering resolution on console titles. Uh, it sounds pretty complicated in theory, but it's just basic maths at the end of the day. So, yeah, if there's anything else in terms of how we work that you'd like to know about, please let us know in the comments. But that's all we've got time for for now. Please feel free to give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe to Digital Foundry to make sure you don't miss a thing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.